Hey everyone, I hope all is well with you. Um, don't be alarmed by the hair color. If you follow me on Instagram or if you like my Facebook page, then you already know what's up. But um, I'll make a hair update later on. So I'll adjust that in another video. But right now, I am coming to you because I'm co-washing my hair. And if you're familiar with a co-wash, it's, um, it's most popular among loose natural people. And the whole point of a co-wash is so that you're washing your hair without shampooing. And shampoo, obviously shampoo is, is good for you, you know, it cleans your hair, clarifies all the icky, nasty stuff that you don't need in your hair. But it also strips your hair of a lot of needed moisture. So co-washing is beneficial because it's adding moisture to your hair without stripping your natural oils and such. And oftentimes our hair is very dry so it's necessary. And I'm coming to this video talking about people wanting soft locks. Now, as you know with the nature of locks, that's um, our hair being matted together to lock into a lock. <laughs> so, I just want to warn you guys when it comes to conditioning your hair and co-washing your hair that it is very important that you don't do it too often. I know a lot of you guys, you wash and conditioner, wash and condition your hair every single time. And if that works for you, then that's great. But um, a lot of the times, conditioning your, over conditioning your hair is bad for locks. Now, and the reason being is because, like I said before, the nature of our hair is that our hair is being matted together. Now, conditioner, it softens our hair so that it's easily detangable. Is that a word? I'll Google it later. But, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, conditioner is going to help our hair untangle. And if you have locks, that's definitely not what you're going for. So... Conditioning your hair too often, it can leave your hair with weak spots through throughout the lock. So, I know everybody wants soft locks, but keep in mind, if your hair wasn't technically soft before you even started locking, like a lot of you with the kinky, very kinky textures, your hair wasn't really that soft to begin with. And with locks, naturally your hair is not going to be as soft as it was originally. And that's not a bad thing. Now, I understand if your hair is dry and brittle and you're, it's breaking. Like, if you run your hair through your locks and you can see little, little hairs being broken off, then, yeah, you may need to condition your hair. Or at least you may need to um, treat it with a hot oil treatment. But I just want to warn you guys that soft locks should not be your ultimate goal. You you want because you want to keep your locks intact and you want them strong. So over conditioning your hair, no good. But keep in mind that it's good to co-wash or condition your hair with your shampoo every now and then. But try not to do it too often. Try to stick with hot oil treatments because that's better for your locks and that will also soften your locks. Okay. Um, hope that was pretty clear. Uh, right now I'm using this cholesterol with ginseng um nothing special i probably paid like a few dollars for this maybe three dollars and it says conditioning with straightening cream so yeah the reason why i'm doing this right now is because obviously my hair is colored and i mean i always color my hair but since right now it's been lightened it makes me a little nervous because i know that stripping your hair of its color to make your hair weaker so i'm gonna try to co-wash it a little more often. Well, I should, I should say period because I never used to co-wash my hair really. Like, hardly. Hardly. Like, I have one video on co-washing like a couple years ago. But, like, I don't do that. <laughs> but with this color, I'm going to try to do it every once in a while. But at the same time, even though my hair is not like the kinkiest of the kinky, um, so I know that my hair is capable of being soft on its own, I still... I still don't want a, a brittle look to my hair. You know, with light colors, regardless if it's locked or not, 
with um, light hair colors, they tend to look dry often. So I'm, I'm just trying to avoid that and keep my hair healthy at the same time. Okay, so just to recap, I know it's a short video, but just to recap, um, remember, over conditioning your hair can make your your lock over conditioning your locks can make your locks weak. And actually, this doesn't even just apply to locks because over conditioning any kind of hair can make your hair weak because over processing your hair will always give you like the opposite effect, like like a you know like a double negative. You put too much protein in your hair, it's gonna make your hair weak. That's just the science. I don't make up the rules. I just abide by them sometimes. Okay, so have a good day. Stay tuned for my hair update. And I have a, a video that's not like any other videos that I've made before. That's coming soon, too. So stay tuned. Also, you know, you know the drill. Like me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Follow my Tumblr if you have one. And that's it. See you soon.